Sometimes, no matter how much you've got, you always want a little bit more. The same goes for range in your electric vehicle. There are times when we would all like our EV to go just a little bit further. And what can we do about it? Well, of course, in the early days of EVs, the range of those early electric vehicles was very low, and it was natural to ask a question for those early owners, how far does it go? Unfortunately, the answer was sometimes 50 or 100 miles. Well, that's all changed with modern EVs. But there was a great deal of focus on making them go further by driving them differently. Does that still apply to a modern EV? Now they've bigger batteries? Welcome to the Vox Network. Let's find out. So do EV drivers still need to know how to increase the range? Well, we would argue yes, because whether your battery is 10 kilowatt hours or 100, sometimes you always need to go a little bit further. That's why most new EVs come with at least two different driving modes, and they're often labeled Eco Mode or Eco Pro and Eco Plus mode. They limit the amount of power that can come out of the battery, so you can't accelerate too hard if you floor the throttle, and they'll often limit the top speed as well. And some of them will even turn off the air conditioning. Some of them will increase the regen braking, and some cars don't just have two modes, normal and eco, they have multiple modes depending on how you want to drive the car. So let's presume that if you're trying to get the best range out of your EV, you've already enabled eco mode or the most economic mode in your car. How do you go even further? How about if you want more range? Well, we've got you covered. We brought together a panel of EV experts from around the world, and this is what they told us. Firstly, when you're driving, look ahead. So don't accelerate downhill, but let your electric vehicle coast downhill or even regen to conserve energy for the trips uphill. Drive a little bit slower, they said. It may seem obvious, but due to the impact of wind resistance and aerodynamics, the slower you drive, the more range you have. And one of the benefits of driving slowly is you may find yourself picking up fewer speeding tickets. The US Department of Energy says that by reducing your speed by 10 miles an hour, you get 14% more efficiency. That doesn't mean cruise down the motorway at five miles an hour. And whether you like it or not, heating and cooling in an EV makes a big difference. So that's why many EVs have heated steering wheels and heated seats. So rather than using a more inefficient cabin heater to heat the entire space, just heating the area around the driver or the driver and passengers themselves saves precious watts of power. Our panel of experts reminded you to always have your tyres inflated to the correct manufacturer recommended pressures. Mass is something that we need to discuss. If you want to accelerate the mass, it will take more energy. So, what are you storing in your car? What doesn't need to be there? Have a look in the trunk or the boot and see if there's anything unnecessary which can come out. Because weight, or I should say mass, is the enemy of EV efficiency. Regen braking is a core part of driving and owning an EV, so make the most of it. Set your regen level to maximum, and if it's changeable inside your electric vehicle, once again, only try to use your friction brakes, as long as it's safe, when necessary. Friction brakes create heat. Don't touch your brakes when you first get out of your car, they could be very hot. But that heat is a sign that energy is lost to something else, apart from moving your car forwards. What about removing roof racks or top storage boxes, cargo carriers, when they're not in use? Yes, by reducing aerodynamic drag, it'll give you a few more miles of range. And what about even planning your route? Well, you may not believe it, but even how you get to your destination can give you more range if you can avoid areas known for heavy traffic constantly speeding up and slowing down, or even steep grades. Choosing a route where you can drive at a consistent speed will mean the best energy efficiency. Next, the size of your wheels is another way that you can get more efficiency, and we're not suggesting that you change them for every journey. But when you're buying a brand new car, think about the wheels. Those large 21-inch wheels may look cool, but the 18-inch versions will have less rolling resistance and give you more range. A smaller wheel with a thicker profile tire can give 
crucial extra miles. And finally, a bonus tip. Drive when it's not very cold. Why is that? Well, here's something our panel of experts came up with, which we hadn't thought about. But if the weather is very cold, or indeed very, very hot, you'll not only need to run your car's heating or cooling extra for your comfort, but lithium-ion batteries that power your car they're much like human beings. And we like to be around 20 degrees Celsius to be comfortable. And batteries are the same. When they're very, very cold, that can increase the internal resistance of a battery. That means that you have to generate extra heat to heat up the battery rather than momentum. In an electric car, that means you're wasting energy. Hey, our final point, we'll mention this, something that you may see out there on internet videos, certain corners of the internet will talk about a driving style in EVs called drafting or slipstreaming. It can give you extra miles. So in order to avoid that wall of air that hits the front of your car, to reduce wind resistance when driving on motorways at fast speeds, you can sit in the wake of another vehicle. And if that vehicle is larger, well then so much the better. However, we do not recommend this. Always drive at a safe distance with appropriate weather conditions and always ensure that if your vehicle is behind another one, make sure that you leave the correct distance to make an emergency stop. You don't want to have an accident because you were driving so close to the vehicle in front of you to save a couple of miles of range. And that is our guide to maximizing EV range. Let us know what you think in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe and bell, and you'll never miss a show. And we'll see you on the next one.